What's going on? Sam out there, CA Fitness TV, back day. Now this is the day, as you all know, if you followed, um, followed for the last 10 weeks, 10 yeah. weeks? You know, back day is the day that I, I really look forward to. I don't know why, I've just always enjoyed work. Getting, getting that sort of thick back look is, uh, so you know why. It's probably the main muscle that shows us. It, it is, man. It's, it's, it's the one that I find is the one that gives you the presence. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you, if you couple, and hence why I couple back with triceps, it gives you that big in look from behind. Look at, look at Brock Lesnar's back. There you go. Look at Brock Lesnar. Who else? He took steroids. <laughs> yeah, really, he took steroids. But there's a few. Who else is there? He's got Bill a... Heat. <laughs> yeah, he took, there yeah, he probably took steroids as well, yeah. But there's a few, but it gives you that, free, if you can create that 3D oh, look from Sam behind. Sam don't forget about him. Yeah, look at Sam Addo. You know, his back is freaking killer. SEO Fitness TV. His he's back on Instagram is killer. As well, yeah, he's, yeah, that guy's on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. I Snapchat. follow him. Snapchat. Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, he's got a YouTube channel as well. What's that? SEO Fitness TV. SEO Fitness TV. Good oh, yeah. channel. Great content. Funny guy as well. <laughs> Funny guy as well. Anyway, <laughs> first exercise, lap pull downs. Um, after all of that, he left the freaking bar anyway. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. Um, four sets, six to eight reps. Let's go heavy. Let's go. Blackpool, that's, I feel good. I, feel, I think the first set felt a bit ropey. Like, you know, the first exercise of the day. And you kind of like... That was like your warm-up. Yeah, it was kind of like the warm-up. And then sets two, three was good. Four was nice as well. So, so my lats are now sort of warm. So we're going to move on and really now start isolating the lats a little bit more. Um, I'm going to do a super set next. The straight arm pull downs with the seated low cable pulls so we can get that all set up. And then uh, that, we should get the, uh, get the last proper firing after that. So I'm gonna use this, um, the one side of the um, cables. cables and then on the machine, just so I can get, kind of move across them pretty quickly, but um, still fresh, let's get this superset going. Finished um, superset. It was hard as hell. I actually increased increased the weight. I went from to 68, 68, 73. Yeah. So I increased it one plate on the straight well, arm. On the straight arm, but I kept the uh, the seated uh, out 100 kg. So happy with that. My my my, uh, my lats are burning now. Proper proper burn. So I was seeing so someone's making making that. Um, so. Normally, I would do, or what I was planning to do, was a single arm 
cool. And I love that exercise. Um, but I could still do it. <laughs> oh, ah, no, there, you ah, there you go. There you go. Spoke too soon. Spoke way too soon. So what I'm going to do is. Um, <laughs> All right, we're gonna do two, we're gonna do two exercises. Sorry, I do apologise, but um, I was thinking st thinking and it hurt. Um, right, I'm gonna do single arm um, uh, lat pulls uh, just to isolate one side. Looking um, relatively lightweight. I'm not going heavy at all. Four sets, ten reps per arm, ideally. Um, let's do this. Oh my god, my lats are on fire. I don't think you can get on them cables either. Which ones? These ones. No, I don't need to. I don't think I need to. Oh, I'm gonna sit down again. My lats are on fire. Um, I forget, I forget how good and how effective that exercise is um, for isolation. So make sure you get that in your workout. Four sets, 10 reps per arm. Um, I went up in weight, I went up two plates from my original weight uh, and I started to really feel the pincher around rep 6, 7, well it was about 7 on my right arm, about 5, 6 on my left arm, just because there's a slight imbalance there, but my lats are on fire and that's what I was after so we're going to move on, I need to figure out what the next exercise is. So we're now moving to like the real, the real sort of meaty compound movements now. So, um, Strapping up for it as well. I am. I do miss my, um, my straps. <laughs> Proper miss them. But, it's a new dawn. I'm using these. So, um, increase the weight, 50 kg aside. Should be okay. Four sets, six to eight reps. Um, so as I said, this is the main, this is the start of all. Um, well, we're not doing rack pulls today, so we would have had two big compound movements, but this, this is the only one for today. So, uh, four sets, six to eight reps. I'm probably gonna average around six reps with this weight on here. Let's do this. Right. That was uh, it was better once you started adjusting my rack on my uh, on my right hand. That was a lot better. When I was trying to do it myself, first set was a bit that. Yeah, it was a little bit a little bit iffy, even though I got it. But um, I thought I lifted them quite comfortably. Did uh, I was averaging about seven reps. Yeah, it looked quite easy. So it wasn't too bad. I wasn't particularly rushing through. It's getting a good concentration on the top. So yeah, happy with how that went. Um, so. We're going to move on to final exercise, close grip pull down. Um, close grip pull down, I love finishing up with it. You can't, can't go wrong with a bit of close grip. Um, so we're going to finish off with that, then we're going to get our cardio in, and we're going to get straight onto, uh, onto uh, triceps. So uh, 
triceps should be good. I'm looking forward to triceps today. I don't know why. It's because I've trained back. Probably. Since I've trained back, oh, I look forward to triceps. So uh, I had to clear down the weights because we've got some signage up in here saying, yeah. put your weights away when you finish. Or Even you though done. not everyone does it, I'm just letting them know. Just letting them know not everyone does it. Um, Sam, I'm sure you've been caught on camera doing nah, that. No, never that. No, no, no. Never. I, I am the epitome of good gym <laughs> etiquette. <laughs> Back up, and I feel freaking great. It's a shame I can't do any rack pulls. Um, I could do light, light rack pulls, but uh, you've done a lot from back to the. I have, and my grip is a little bit sore, and I don't want to. Um, I don't want to agitate it by, you know, ripping some, ripping some, some skin. So. I'm just going to leave it at that. I think my What's back. next then? You're going to go straight to triceps? I really want to go straight to triceps, but I feel I've got to stay true to everything. So we're going to go and get that cardio in now. Seven okay. minutes. Seven minutes. So we're going to, um, we're going to get on the bike. Isn't it cross train? Uh, no. uh, nice bike today. Yeah. We did cross train yesterday. Oh, yeah. Bike today. And uh, a running machine. Yeah. And then we get back over here. We get this, we get this, uh, get the triceps in. So, Let's do this seven minutes cardio, let's go. Here we are on the Tour de France. Tour de France. Just started. We, we are three minutes, three minutes from the end. <laughs> and I'm leading by about 20 seconds. So let's keep the pace up. I think I'm only going on a speed of about 50, which is pretty, pretty good, pretty quick. Um, so the key is consistency. So I'm averaging 36.5. I don't want to drop under 36. If I drop under 36, I lose intensity. And the idea of this is to be three minutes of straight intensity. No slouching, no, uh, we're not looking to take a walk in the park. Still want to push ourselves a little bit. So that's why I always say, visualize something that you're trying to, uh, trying to ride towards. Like Tour de France. Like the Tour de France. But now you're saying it, you're going to have to do it one day. No way. I am not built to do the Tour de France. I can barely ride 10 miles <laughs> before I'm dead. Uh, before I'm stopping off at the corner shop for, for a bottle of Lucas I think you've got a chance. What, ride to ride like 100 miles? Yep. No way. Nah, no way. I know some people who have. Okay. I know a lot of people who have, but it's not for me. So we're halfway through towards the end. You'd need one of them, uh, you know, the bikes with the baskets in front of them, which is have some food and protein shake. <laughs> what, and a bell? Yeah. <laughs> and a bell. <laughs> and you can just be eating on the go. <laughs> no way. I don't know why it makes me think of Mary Poppins. <laughs> did she use it? I think so, yeah. Oh, man. So, as I said, you want to kind of not concentrate on the time. You start clock watching. This thing becomes 10 times harder. That's already gone two minutes. Exactly. So I'm into the final stretch now. Um, and I'm not massively out of breath. So if I'm able to talk and ride at a constant speed. You can definitely do Tour de France. Right. See. But one thing we do know is the average you need to hit is above 1.14. So I'm going to increase the speed. 10 out of 0.10. Oh no, uh, what do I normally average? It's point 1.2 is it? 24. That was moderate. Uh, that was moderate. I think I'd have got to about 1.14 bit high. But that was moderate. I didn't really break no sweat. So I'm pretty cool with that. So we're gonna move on to the treadmill. And uh, we're gonna do an interval. Quick fire interval. Unbelievable. I accidentally flicked the security button down. I'm about to start again. I just, you I just, well. I just did three minutes fifty-seven seconds. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I almost did fall off. The sheer, <laughs> the sheer shock. 
of this thing just stopping on a, on a, I don't, yeah, a I don't sixpence. Think it's actually helpful. You know, no, it isn't. Imagine least, running at like 17 miles and just a second Exactly. Stop. At least just have a graceful sort of uh, shutdown. But that I was think a bit. If you're running at a fast pace and that happened, I'd have thinking, yeah. Yeah, I'd have been over here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That could have been good. I actually want to see that. We should get a test dummy. Yeah, all right. You could do the test. I'll ask, hold the camera. Ask, ask the viewers if someone wants to do it. So if you want to see Dylan no, on no, the no, running no. machine and they, running at 17 and I hit that reset button behind the camera, it's coming. You got to run. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got to add that. Because now I have to concentrate. In which case, you fall. Yeah. <laughs> I feel alright, just need to regulate my breathing. And you can get onto your triceps. Yeah, let's work our way over to triceps. Uh, I'll show you guys the first exercise, one of my favourites. So, double rope tricep extension. Put the rope like this because it means when you get to the back of the contraction, you can pull for further. So, when you've got a normal rope, you'll kind of just go here. But what we want is that full sort of extension as best as we can. So, four sets, 10 reps. It's the first tricep exercise, it's four sets. Let's do this. to enjoy this one <laughs> so we've just so we've just done uh, rope extensions so I just want to um, get some isolation going so we're just doing single arm push downs with sort of like reverse grip say reverse no no probably not reverse grip reverse grip that way we're doing uh, orthodox grip um, so I just want to get some push downs in just to get some isolation in the triceps um, three sets ten reps per arm I've already done one two more to go Right, now we're, now we're cooking on gas. Now we're, them, no. now we're warm, so we're going to do the final exercise now, which um, is going to be um, overhead, overhead extensions, but um, yeah. <laughs> right, so with this exercise, get the weight right because if you, if you don't, you can injure you can, yourself. Yeah, you can injure yourself, especially your lower back, so you want to kind of get it right. The key is just to keep consistency in your motion really want to try and extend as much as we can. We're using the V-bar, fine, just because you get, you, get, you get good control when you use the V-bar. Um, by all means, you can use uh, the rope as well. Make sure you get that extension out at the top as best as you can. But I just find that using the V-bar, it just commits More control. You, yeah, and it commits you to your form. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, and, and, and typically you can lift more when you use it. So, three sets, three <laughs> sets, 10 reps. I may have got the weight right, so I may have uh, wrong, so I may have just it, but maybe it's right. Let's do this.
my triceps feel full, tough. Yeah, feel good. Oh, it's not good. That's not good. Um, Looks like cross trainer on a walk again. Looks like cross trainer on a walk, which is a shame. Wouldn't mind. It's been a while, well, hasn't it? Sorry, it's been a while. It has been a while since I've done a fair master. I mean, don't get me wrong. We'll get it tomorrow, but yeah, it's not good. But really, your back, your triceps should be feeling full right back now. Um, so it looks like yeah, we're gonna have to do treadmill, treadmill and um, cross trainer and cross trainer. Um, we'll do the cross trainer first. Yeah. If the stairmaster comes free, we'll do the last four minutes on the stairmaster. Yeah. If not. We'll just do the four minutes on the uh, on the on the treadmill. Let's go. Minute, sorry, one minute in a grip, one minute out, one minute in. Let's get up to speed. About about seven. That's where we want to go. Seven, seven point two, seven point four. It's a bonus. So couldn't get on the stairmaster. So coming back on here. I'm gonna push myself a little bit more on here because I feel like I can. So I'm just gonna. See how fit we are. Push through this. The idea of this just takes a little bit of impact away from your your knees and your quads, that sort of thing. Uh, workout's gone well so far. Uh, really happy. Got it. I couldn't do rack pulls, and I didn't attempt it. But you know what? There's plenty more days, and we'll do rack pulls. And to be honest, I may do it next week and go wild. We need a new name. Because for the bike, you have Tour de France. What I, marathon are you running? When I do this? Yeah. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. Um, <laughs> I don't know any names. I never really thought about this one. I only know the London Marathon. <laughs> <laughs> and believe me, I don't want to run that. I do not want to run that. Don't break on exercises like that. Don't go missing for three weeks and come back to this. That was only four minutes as well. Oh. So imagine if you're doing the full seven. I think, I think uh, your mind looks at things in a different way. When you know, um, when you know you, you're doing it for seven minutes, even though the speed hasn't changed, your intensity, you, you learn to kind of regulate that intensity. You know when you need to push, when you need to kind of try and relax. So I think about it, because it was four minutes, I kind of felt in my mind, just push, push, just push, push, push. And what happened was when I got to about three minutes, I was running on empty, I was just running on pure grit. And really, you want to be running on that at about the five minute mark. So it was, uh, it was food for thought, it's part of that whole learning exercise. But, uh, been good. Yeah, no, I feel I feel happier that I've done this. Do me a favour, grab my uh, water. Yeah. Is, there, is there anything in there? Oh, got Sorry. dregs. I've got the dregs, but um, it's been a good session. Um, I have enjoyed this session today. Man, it feels so good to be like at, at, at this stage, being able to. Constantly, every set, push, 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 without the fear that you're gonna play. Don't get me wrong, it's only so far you can push before the weight is gonna sort of beat you. But I'm in a nice place, finding out right now, and that's what the key thing is. So, I'm gonna finish off here. It's been a good session. Uh, got shoulders coming tomorrow. I can tell you now that that is gonna be intense. That I do know. Um, 
we're going to be setting some PBs tomorrow, I think. Um, so, again, it's all about the preparation. Especially, well, I say especially for shoulders. It's not really especially for shoulders. Shoulders. Did I say soldiers? <laughs> shoulders. Um, you still need to have that level of intensity and all of that sort of, you know, all that good stuff. Um, but I just find for me, shoulders is more of a, a real, like... Quick exercises. No, it's, it's like, you know, when you're naturally gifted at certain things, like say you're, you're a footballer yeah. and you're naturally gifted, you can, um, you play to a certain level very easily. Yeah. And I'm not saying, no, I'm not saying very easily, but you find it easier to play for us at a certain level. When you're not so naturally gifted, you have to work that little bit, bit harder to get, get out. <laughs> it's not good, is it? You have to work that little bit harder to get to that same level. But at the same time, you can still get to that level. It's not like it's impossible. So the point I'm making is, is with like back, um, with like back for argument's sake, I feel more naturally gifted there. With shoulders, I find it's more of a slog. I've got to put in the hours, real tough hours, harder hours, you know, go push myself even further than I, I would normally to kind of get to that level. So look forward to that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get out of the gym. I think I've talked and rambled long enough. <laughs> Check out social media today. I thought we were we were we were on it today at social media. Um, a lot of you know intricacies in some of the um, footage that you get. Um, to follow us on there, leave some comments on there as well. Just it helps to to grow grow our social media um, awareness and all of that kind of good stuff. So Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. As always, if you're new, subscribe, comment, share, like, share this to your friends. As I say, guys, girls, mums, dads, whatever, you know, drop me an email if you've got any questions, safitnesstv at gmail.com. Um, as always, hashtag safitnesstv, hashtag SCA journey. And most importantly, stay in the moment, stay focused. We're doing, we're doing some good stuff in the gym now. We're really doing some good stuff. Stay disciplined and keep that motivation high. This is an enjoyable time. I'm going to get out of here. Catch you guys tomorrow. Stay safe. Stay well. Peace.